Hi everyone! For those who are new to my channel, I'm Hurley Kim. And before we start, I want to say thank you for the support for my last Light Attendant Unwritten Rules video, which I really appreciate and means so much to me. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link in the description below. And while I was able to cover a lot in that last video, I wasn't able to cover everything, so hopefully I'm able to cover it fully with a part 2. Also, keep in mind that this video is based on my own experiences and the goal is to help you be aware and to avoid those awkward moments in flight. And when it comes to being a flight attendant for Philippine Airlines, it's only fitting to be speaking Tagalog. So for most of the video, I'll be speaking Tagalog. As well, I'll be doing this rosy makeup look that I usually do when deadheading. Deadhead is another term we use for a crew member flying as a passenger who is being repositioned by the airline for work. I get excited every time I go on deadhead flights because that is the only time I get to put my hair down, dress up, and not wear red lipstick. So let's get started. Unang paalala, bago tayo lumipad, doon muna tayo nagre-report sa in-flight center kung saan kailangan natin mag-check-in sa computer. Pag may nakasalamuha tayo na purser o senior, dapat mag-giveaway tayo at mag-offer na sila mauna mag-check-in. Pwede natin sabihin, it's okay ma'am, it's okay sir, or it's okay purser, I still have time. Or if they insist once, stand your ground at sabihin mo na it's okay, malayo pa yung reporting time ko. Ito ang isa sa mga ginagawa namin dati ng Mickey Mouse days pa. Big deal kasi pag may Mickey Mouse ID ka kasi nakahiga yung ID natin. Meaning nun, under probationary period pa tayo, so hindi ka talaga makakalusot sa mata ng mga regular crew. Takot na takot pa kami nun dati. Kaso ngayon, lahat pare-pareho nang nakatayo yung ID natin. Kaya mas mahirap na malaman kung sino ang probe o hindi. Kaya paminsan, nakakalimutan na natin gawin to. It's not required, but it's a good gesture. Pangalawa, siguraduhin may $1 bill tayo nakahanda bago pumasok ng shuttle para sa For The. Ibig sabihin, for the boys, para sa shuttle drivers natin. Although it's already a stretch, pag nagbigay tayo ng $1 coin, huwag tayo magbigay ng quarter dollar at higit sa lahat yung haluan natin ng 5 cents. Nakakahiya kaya yun. At paminsan pa, kailangan pa magpapalit ng mga stewards dun sa front desk sa airport ng bills o manghingi ng envelope. Hassle kaya yun. Pangatlo, magbaon na maraming thank you at sorry every flight. Pag cabin crew kasi tayo, bawal maging sensitive. Walang personalan, trabaho lang. Pag tinuturoan tayo ng seniors natin kung paano gawin ang mga bagay-bagay sa flight, huwag tayo maging defensive. Instead, mag-thank you tayo kasi wala namang mawawala sa atin pag nakinig tayo eh. At kahit na alam naman na natin tinuturo ng senior, ugaliin natin mag-thank you. Remember to never cut them off. Remain professional at all times. At siguraduhin natin mag-sorry kagad tayo pag nagkamali tayo. People who makes mistakes and have no problem admitting them is a lot better than people who think they made none. Wala nang room for growth yun. Simply put, open-minded ka ba? Pang-apat, pag na-assign tayo sa business class, dapat may nakaredy na tayo ng colored pens. Kasi, mas maigi pag iba-ibang kulay ng pens ang gamitin natin sa pag-order take. This is the most ideal thing to do para hindi nakakalito pag nag-food service na tayo. At gandahan din natin yung pagkasulat sa form. Paminsan kasi, Pag hindi natin mabasa ng maayos yung orders, it leaves room for mistakes at the expense of another crew and more importantly, the passengers. Especially pag business class passengers yung hinahandle natin. They have the lengthiest orders pa minsan. Pag FA kasi tayo, all-in-one tayo dapat. In flight, pwede tayong maging mechanic, technician, nurse, caregiver, and the list goes on. Naalala ko, may nahulog na cellphone sa business class seat. Naku! Ewan ko na lang, daig pa sa gymnastics yung ginawa ko para makuha ko yung cellphone. Minsan, it's all about going above and beyond. Ibaling muna natin yung atensyon natin sa mga flight stewards o male crew. Panglima, pagkatapos mag-check-in, kinukuha na ng most junior steward yung captain's info sheet para maisulat na kung saang area magtatrabaho yung mga crew. Halimbawa, business class, economy class, o premium economy class. Ginagawa ito ng mga stewards as courtesy for our pursers para ready na din bago pa tayo mag-briefing at para malaman na din natin kung ano ang provides natin base sa ating posisyon. Pang-anim, pag nasa outstation na tayo, huwag tayong mag-expect na pati yung coat hangers natin bubuhatin ng mga stewards. Una sa lahat, hindi na na trabaho na buhatin ang maleta ng mga FA. Paano pa kayo yung mga coat hangers natin? They only do it out of courtesy. And... A single thank you will come a long way. Pang-pito, pag lumilipad tayo sa Middle East flights, 
nagiging parte na din ang trabaho ng mga most junior steward na kumuha ng order sa shawarma. At pagkatapos, hinahatid pa nila yung food sa room natin. Kaya sa lahat ng mga steward na nakapag-order na ng shawarma at kabsa sa Middle East for us, maraming salamat sa sakripisyo. Saludo kami sa inyo. Now, let's talk about endorsement supply. Ginagawa natin ang endorsements kapag may kapalitan tayo na crew. Kunwari, kakadating pa lang natin sa outstation at yung kapalitan naman natin na crew, pauwi na sila ng Manila. Kasama sa mga ini-endorse natin yung pagsisil ng duty-free cart, nakadrain na drink trolley, pag-aayos ng bassinet, at saka yung nakaredy na order-taking form at menu card para sa susunod na crew. Mausisi natin ginagawa to para mabawasan ang iniintindi ng mga crew na pabalik na ng Manila. At pag hindi naman natin nagawa yung endorsements o mali yung pagkagawa natin, Pwede tayong ma-message agad ng mga seniors na kapalitan natin o isusulat yon agad-agad sa flight report ng mga purser and we don't want that. Lastly, pagdating natin ulit sa in-flight center after a long-haul flight, meron tayong free transportation yan. At kahit na first come for serve yung pagre-register ng pangalan natin sa transpo office, ugaliin natin maghintay muna sa seniors na kalipad natin para sila mauna magsulat sa pangalan nila. Or, We can list their names ahead of time kung alam naman natin kung saan sila nakatira bago natin isulat yung pangalan natin. I remember nung Toby days kasi, pagkababa na pagkababa ko ng shuttle, syempre dumiretso agad ako sa transpo office. Kasi iniisip ko, yes, ako mauuna magsulat, ako ang mauuna makauwi. Pero slight bog award moment yun para sa akin. Lalo na kasi pagkatapos na pagkatapos kong magsulat, andun na sa likod ko yung mga seniors. Rule of thumb, kapag may mga senior sa ID number mo, Expect na mauna talaga sila sa lahat ng bagay. Bawat kumpanya na pinagtatrabahuan natin, may kanya-kanyang unspoken or unwritten rules yan. Not only do they govern the way things get done, but they actually define the culture of the organization. These unwritten rules pick up where the cabin crew handbook leaves off. Kaya, mas mainam na alam natin yung mga patakaran na hindi nakasulat para makondisyon na natin yung sarili natin bago pa tayo magtrabaho. Just remember that when you begin to work as a flight attendant, there's always that initial excitement that quickly wears down when you start making mistakes. But just keep grinding through it. A new setting is always awkward at first until you settle in. But once you do, it's all worth it. Because for me, there were times where I wanted to quit from the mistakes I made, but I pushed through it. And I'm glad I did. Being a flight attendant really opened those doors for me to travel. So that's why I really cherish those memories. So I hope that these tips can help you get through those bug award moment and get you where you need to be. So just work hard and reach your goals. At dito na po nagtatapos ang isang kabanatan ang unwritten rules ng mga flight attendant. Kung nagustuhan nyo ang video na to, huwag natin kalimutang mag-like at subscribe. At syempre, i-click na din natin ang notification bell upang ma-update kayo sa susunod ng mga videos. Maayong salamat kaninyong tanan. Hinaot na magkita-kita ng santa ninyo sa sunod na ako na video. Goodbye po! Attention ground staff! Doors will be closed shortly. And to all our passengers, please take your assigned seats now and fasten your seatbelts.